Hello, it's so good for you to join me today and I'm really thankful for your company. Um, in the past I have shared some of my flip throughs of Daphne's Diary, one of my favourite magazines I must say, um, simply because there's just such a rich treasure trove of things that we can actually make use of if you do junk journals and make ephemera. And in the previous video when I discussed what to do with little strips that we have had, um, I mentioned quite a few different things, but I'd just like to use this Daphne's diary, which is number seven. Um, this is the one I'm looking at, number seven of 2022. I'm just going to use this to show you again what I was referring to, because some of you might not have watched that video. So quite often in these magazines, you might have strips of interesting materials which you could cut out. Um, just guillotine them out. Um, it might be something that's patterned like that one or it could be something where perhaps you have the image of a doll to cut out like this um, and then you'll have all this material on the sides that you don't want to waste so you could cut those into strips or you could make journaling tags and that side is equally pretty and the same would go with this here and then you would also have other pieces where perhaps there are just sections. So for instance this one it just has a strip of fortune cookies or you've got a nice long strip here with pink on and you can just decide how you would like to use them. It might even be just some of this checkered watercolour stripe. Okay so that's where I'm coming from. Taking these odd strips. The other thing that Daphne's diary always say has is always just these recipe cards and things that you can pop out and then you're left with the surrounds and I cut those up into strips as well. So I'm going to set this aside and show you some of the things that I've been making. So what I essentially do is that I use these quite often for sentiments and I have some that I have on my laptop and I will print them out and cut them out and then stick them onto a piece of book page. So some of them are um, in a sort of beigey colour some might be black and white, you could have all sorts of different fonts and you could create what you, whatever you want to, you could just type up your own sentiments. Then I normally put them into old sticker packets depending on the theme of them, so this would be more inspirational um, quotes, this would be to do with gardening, I'm busy working on a journal to do with cooking, so I, I put them in packs so that I am ready when I need them. The next thing that I do then is to take my little strips of coloured paper or card from Daphne's diary and just using a glue stick I glue them down onto my pieces of card. So I'm just using a regular dry glue stick. I like that because it doesn't make the paper cool. If you use things like gel mediums and stuff I find that initially when you're sticking this printed paper onto the book page it often buckles and then it's quite hard to get it flat without pressing it for a whole lot of time. So at this stage they don't look super interesting, they just look like sentiments on a piece of card. The next thing that I do is that I take my coloured strips, let me get these out the way. I take my coloured strips and I use my Distress ink to edge around them. And I know it's a strange thing to say but it's a bit like putting a mounting board around a painting that you're going to hang on your wall. It just kind of draws everything together. So as you can see here I have used this Distress ink which is the antique linen and it's a very very pale brown so it's given you this very very faint little edge around it and you can see here I haven't even trimmed this edge because I like it. That's where the page was joined to the spine of the book. Um, and this very very soft coloured brown you can see here again just shows up so nicely on this. I'm going to demonstrate though now with a slightly darker one so that you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to push all of these that have been inked to one side and let me just take this is vintage photo. So it's not the darkest of the browns that I have but it is dark. Now I know quite a lot of you use blending brushes and things. I don't like too much on mine so I actually use the side of my ink pad to ink up just to get a coloured edge and I literally just run it along the side. I have a tendency to be a little bit messier than I'd like to be sometimes with these inks which is why I like this method and I literally just run the paper along the edge like that and you can see I am picking up that brown it's just covering the white 
obviously if you prefer to use the blending ink tool and then you want to have a little bit more ink you can do that but this is my personal preference so if I was to take a piece of card that doesn't have the ink on and put it side by side with one that does you'll see it just kind of draws your eye in a little bit so let's do one with maybe a slightly different background color like this so that you can see and obviously if I tilt this more at 45 degree angles I'm going to get a little bit more ink on my page give it a moment or two to dry and um, that's always key and I, I like the Daphne's Diaries pages for these kind of sentiments because they are actually quite nice and firm and they're slightly thicker than the normal magazine pages that you get so let me just show you what those look like you can see those quite nicely side by side they've inked up but they're not overly done and I'm wanting to have a fairly clean look now the next thing that I'd like to do is to be able to put some little eyelets into my tags so that I can actually secure them nicely without having the thread damage the paper itself so I have my um, crocodile here and I'm just going to make a hole first I think I'll use the larger one for this position that in place give it a little nip Oopsie. and this one as well there we go and then looking at the colors I've got here I've got the, a box of different colored eyelets that are ordered I think I'm going to choose a nice sort of green oh my goodness I can't get them out with my fingers <laughs> all thumbs today um, this is a bit daft right there's a blue one for that one and I think I'm going to use a nice yellow one for that so I have already set up my little eyelet hole punch there and I'm going to just Put my eyelet over the hole like that position it so that the little pointed bit goes down into the hole and it rests on the base plate like that and give it a nice firm squeeze there you go and that's nice and secure there and it just adds a really nice finishing touch to that so let's do one more together okay let's get that gosh bit of cold weather and your fingers and thumbs don't work nearly as well hmm. all right so let's squeeze this one in place here we go so I've got two really nice little eyelets that I've got there positioned and I just have some leftover thread that I used when I was doing a tapestry so this is it is a slightly woolly texture and I'm going to use that one here so I've just got about I think it's about 16 centimeters in length folded in half and I'm just pushing the bent edge through to give me a nice little soft tag like that and then for the green one I think I'll use this little bit of gold this is a slightly shorter length but it doesn't matter um, and I think the gold will go nicely with I'm a gardener what's your superpower <laughs> so it gives you a little bit of strength there so you can see just by using these lovely strips from the Daphne's diary that I've been able to make some very nice little sentiment tags. It's a nice activity to do in a winter's evening, sitting watching a movie, and you just need to stick them down, and you can really work production style with this. So, happy crafting. Make some lovely ephemera for your junk journals. Please, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, or consider subscribing to my channel and being part of my community. Bye for now.